Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello Grade 2s and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Local Businesses and Autumn. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer and make sure that we rub both of our hands thoroughly. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading, common nouns, and missing numbers. For our first exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be reading a short passage. Now with this one, it is going to be one that we're going to use to answer the questions below. Remember, when we are reading a story or a short passage, we need to read it three times. The first time is so that we understand what the story is talking about. The second time is so that we can find our answers. And then the third time is to make sure that our answers are correct. Now, let us start by reading it the first time. Autumn is calling. Leaves change color. It changes from green to brown to red and orange. Trees lose their leaves. Dad and I rake the leaves every Saturday. Acorns fall down. It is falling on my head. Hooray! Autumn is here! Wow! It sounds like this person is very excited about this season. Now that we have read it a first time, let's take a look at our question. Now we're going to read our questions twice. So let us read together. Number one, which season is it? Which season is it? Number two, what happens to the leaves? What happens to the leaves? Number three, Name the colors the leaves changes to. Name the colors the leaves changes to. Number four, on which day are the leaves raked? On which day are the leaves raked? And number five, what is falling on my head. What is falling on my head? Number six, what is your favorite season and why? 
What is your favorite season and why? So for the questions up to number five, all the answers are in the passage. But number six is asking you a personal question, which is what is your favorite season and why? Remember, we have four seasons, summer, autumn, winter, and spring. So you need to pick the season that you like and say why. So now that we have read our questions, let's go back to our passage and read it a second time. Keep your eyes open and your ears wide open for the answers. We'll begin at the top. Autumn is calling. Leaves change color. It changes from green to brown, red and orange. Trees lose their leaves. Dad and I rake the leaves every Saturday. Acorns fall down. It is falling on my head. Hooray! Autumn is here. So now that we have read the passage a second time, I'd like you to please answer the questions. Remember boys and girls, if you're not sure, you can always go back into the passage and read it again to get your answers. Make sure that you answer all the questions and for number six, Choose a season and tell us why. Now that we're done with that one for now, let's move on to the next page, page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing common nouns. Now remember boys and girls, we all know what a noun is, but there are two types of nouns that we normally talk about. Today, we are going to be talking about common nouns. Now, common nouns are words that name things, people, or places. On the board, I have some pictures that I want us to talk about because they are common nouns. So let's take a look at the board. The first one that I have is something you already know, somewhere where we both meet, and that is a school. You can see that it even says school on top as well. So this is a school. So the common noun word here is school. We are naming this building and this building is a place and the place is a school. The next thing that we have is something that some of you have at home and that you ride by yourselves. And some of you are still learning as well. This one is called a bicycle. The name of this thing is a bicycle. So the common noun here is bicycle. So we have school and then we have bicycle. The next one that we can see is something that takes a lot of people to one place. And it can sometimes have the driver on a big steering wheel. And we even have a song for it that says, The wheels on the mm go round and round. This is a bus. So the common noun is naming this thing. And this is a bus. The next one that we have is something that some of you actually go to school in. It can be different colors. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, sometimes it's got a back seat, sometimes it's got two doors only, but it definitely has four wheels. We call this thing a car. So the common noun name for this thing is a car. So far, we have talked about the school name of a place, the bicycle, name of a thing, the bus, a name of a thing, the car, a name of a thing. 
Now we're going to the people, names of people. Not specific names, but just names in general. And these two people that we are going to see or talk about today are parents. Parents. Now, if it's one person standing here, we actually say parent. But because there are two people, father and mother, we say parents. And then the last thing that we can see of a common noun is a name of a place as well. We live in it. That's where our bedroom is. And when we go home, we say that we live in a house. So the name of this thing is a house. So these are our common nouns and we're going to use them to fill in the missing words in our exercise. So let's go to our exercise. In our exercise, we can see that we are going to be reading the story below and write the missing nouns next to the picture. Now each of the pictures we saw before are the exact same ones that we have here in the classroom as well as in your book. So this is going to be so easy peasy. <laughs> so let us start together. Instead of saying the picture, I want you to say the name of the item, whether it's the name of a place, the name of a person or the name of the thing. So we are going to read it twice. And then after that, I would like you to fill in with the correct word, the common noun. Let us read it together. I love going to school. I ride my bicycle. My friend takes the bus. Some boys and girls ride in a car with their parents. Kids whose house is near the school walk to school. Well done if you manage to replace the picture with their common noun name. So we're now going to read it again, but this time a little bit faster so that we can sound like we're making complete sentences. I love going to school. I ride my bicycle. My friend takes the bus. Some boys and girls ride in a car with their parents. Kids whose house is near the school, walk to school. Now it's your job to fill in the correct words. So let's take a look at the board for the last time so you can see the words. We have school, bicycle, bus, car, parents, and house. So take your time, make sure you spell each of the words correctly. If you need a little help, it's okay to ask. Just make sure you finish your exercises, both of them, by yourself. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. <music>71. Can you find that leaf? Well done. So that is the one I'm going to help you with. So let's take a look at the board. Now I have my leaf here that says dash 70, 71. 
So we are going to try and find the dash. Now this is very easy because it's either you count backwards or you use the rule about the number in front. Now remember, if we are looking for a missing number that is in front, that means we are looking for the number before 70. And we actually can count backwards to find it. So the number we are looking for is not the one after 70. The number after 70 is 71. It's already there. So we need to count backwards to try and find the missing number. So we are going to start at 71. Counting backwards. Let's go. 71. 70. So what is this one? If you said that it is now 69. Well done! Good job! So we know that this is 69. And we can even check by trying to find out if it is correct. We can start from 60 going to 71. So let's count. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So it's correct. Well done, everyone. Good job. So I'm going to leave you to do the rest of the leaves by yourself. Remember, if it is the one in front that is missing, so you're looking for the number before the one you've been given. If it is the one behind, that means you're looking for the number after. And if it is the one in the middle, that one is very easy. You just put the missing number by counting the one before and the one after. Take your time, have fun with this one, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson, and I really hope you had so much fun. I know I did. Remember, if you're not sure or you don't know what to do, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you end up finishing your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson, boys and girls, let us sanitize. When we sanitize, we are showing the world that we care about our health. Sanitizing means that we're trying to stay far away from the germs. So sanitize as regularly as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi was supposed to come and visit me, but I don't know where he is. Sashi? Sashi? I don't know where... Oh! <laughs> there he is! Hello, Sashi. You want to go outside and play? Me too. But let's say goodbye to our friends first. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and... Goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.